everybody welcome back to my channel today is episode one of my 12 days of Christmas and today is my very first project and I'm gonna be making a Christmas themed shovel and I'm using this large sand shovel from Dollar Tree we're well into summer now and you may not be able to find these at your local Dollar Tree if you can't then I encourage you to grab some of the little small bucket shovels and make ornaments using the same technique you're also going to need a can of black and silver spray paint. Depending on the finish of the silver spray paint, I also have some gray and white craft paint that I may do a galvanized finish on my shovel to make it give it a little more realistic look. You're going to need some kind of Christmas ribbon. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with this width or the wider width. I'll just see, but I just picked two that I liked. And Walmart probably doesn't have them yet, but I know the craft stores definitely have already started stocking their Christmas floral and their clip-on picks and things like that. You may even look through your Christmas stash because you're not going to need much to go along with your bow glue gun and then this jute twine is optional i want to do a little accent on my handle with a jute twine just to give it a little more rustic look so the first thing i need to do is get rid of this red shovel since my bow and floral is going to go right here in the center it's not imperative that it's painted perfectly you can just kind of tape it off or use something to cover half of your shovel because the whole handle is going to be black. The shovel part is going to be silver. And when I get back with you, my shovel will be ready. All right, I have my little shovel painted now and I'm really pleased with how it turned out with the two spray painted colors. And you know, when you go to the store and you buy a brand new shovel, it is bright and shiny like this too. So I think I'm just gonna save myself a step and not even fool with trying to make it galvanized look. It just looks like a metal shovel. And so once my tails of my bow are hanging down, it's not even gonna be super noticeable. Now is I wanna do that little jute twine embellishment. I'm gonna wrap the top of the handle. There's a little indention here where it'll just fit perfect and there's also a little indention right here just hot gluing a little bit as I go I've got my shovel wrapped in the jute twine love the look of that that really brought it more of a rustic look now I took my wire cutters and I just cut apart my little Christmas pick so I've got two pieces of the pine and I've got two pine cones and I got a little two berries and I'm just going to meet these in the center and kind of give myself a flat spot because that's where my bow is going to go and I'm going to wire that together and I'm going to wire it onto the handle of the show. Your floral may be just a little different from mine but just wanted to make sure you saw what I was using. Now as far as my bow uh, I cut three pieces at 15 inches each and then one long piece 20 inches. I'm going to take all three of the 15 inch pieces and create some loops. And I I'm going to crisscross two of my rings and then put my third ring in the center and then I will tie it together with the long piece. This is what your finished bow should look like. I'm going to straighten out the tails a little bit, hot glue it on my shovel, and show you my finished project. All right, friends, here is my farmhouse inspired Christmas shovel. Love how it turned out. There's lots of places you could display this on a shelf, on a door, on a wall, nestled in your Christmas tree would be cute. And I think with this little area down here at the bottom of the shovel, you could actually put a small, the words Merry Christmas or Welcome would be really cute as well. So I hope you enjoyed this original Christmas idea, and I'll see you soon with episode two. Bye-bye.